Hello everyone, so today is a big day, so the accumulation of uh, about a month's work, many many long hours, about many many sort of 10-12 hour days, about £2,000, a lot of sleepless nights thinking, a lot of researching, watching sawmilling videos on YouTube and uh, yeah just a lot, a lot of work. Today I'm going to cut some wood with it for the first time. I've made a few changes and I'll just show you them quickly. Just a few little extra bits that needed doing. So I have added nice hardwood wooden slats, sleeper wood. So I needed to do these to raise the height of the bunks up a little bit so I could get a minimum cut of an inch because um, my bits of metal weren't big enough uh, and they're going to stop uh, me getting paint all over the wood I'm milling as well. Um, added those all the way along. I think they look awesome. Um, I've also added a hook for a bucket to catch sawdust. I could do with a bigger bucket, but it's the only one I got. And an old welly cut up that's going to help stop the sawdust blowing out here and into the bucket. A lot of people in the video were under the impression that there was no place for the sawdust to get out, but there is. There always was. It's there. And there's a bit of rebar welded in there to support that open part. Um, what else have we done? Well, I think that's it really. But essentially we are ready to go and cut some wood. And that's what we're going to do today. Oh uh, yeah, that's the other thing I did. I uh, set the blade up. So the blade is sitting perfectly parallel to the bunks. And I've adjusted the rollers so it's angled. So if I put a straight edge from the blade between two of the bunks. It um, reads exactly the same measurement on both ends. So it's all set up and ready to go, hopefully. Yeah, also, uh, also knocked myself up a camp hook. Or a PV. Some people call them a PV camp hook. In fact, I think they're two different things. I think a PV goes straight out the end. A camp hook has something to grip with there. So I think this is a camp hook. But yeah, help me move logs around. I've got that to move them about a bit. And the winch set up and the ramps and a tractor if we need it. So it should be good for loading. So here we go, first cuts on the saw sawmill. So I just uh, idled the engine for a minute, just let it warm up, and then I just uh, went really, really slow. I mean, like quarter throttle, and uh, just pushing the carriage really slowly, just watching what's happening, checking the blade isn't uh, diving or raising in the cut, and you know, taking a really small cut, just just watching everything, just you know, first time ever using it. 
and like I say the engine is still in its running period so I've had to go really easy on it throughout the whole video um, I've gone no more than half throttle and that's why in some of the clips the uh, the actual the blade actually stops in the wood and that's because it's dipped below the uh, clutch cutting speed um, it's just because I'm too worried about going at a high RPM or high load on such a brand new engine so once the running period is up which is 10 hours um, I change the oil and then we can go through full throttle and you know it's a it's a high torque diesel engine 10 horsepower it will well that, that problem will go as soon as um, as soon as I can run it full RPM it's just not even in its power range at the moment uh, throughout this video but we still managed to use it still managed to turn a log into usable timber anyway I'm gonna shut up and let you enjoy the rest of the video
She works a treat. Nice and flat, straight, square, and it's perfect. I was trying to get that heart in the center. I missed it a bit, but that's just my milling skills. The mill's working perfectly. Um, there are a few little things. I'll uh, go through them in a minute. So I've had to pack these out a tiny bit because I'm hitting the roller. So I either need to move the roller over on this side, this one, over a tiny bit, or I need to move these over a tiny bit decide on that afterwards and I've got about a three to five millimeter uh, rate uh, low dip here in the trailer so I might be able to correct that by jacking it up more or I might trim down my little wooden slats to change it but it's still within at the moment so what I can work with with what I'm doing with it but yeah over that whole length there's about a five four five mil three four five mil deviation something like that um, I say I'll probably get a couple of millimetres just on there alone and then I can take like one, two, uh, sorry like four, three, two, one millimetres off the wooden slats and correct that. So there we go, that is going to conclude the sawmilling, first sawmilling, first cuts on the old sawmill and I am over the moon. It, I, can't, I, just, I can't believe we've just got these two little small little niggly things that I can correct easily and you know yeah, when I make these things, people often think, oh, how much, how much does it cost? Oh, why do you spend so much time? There's lots of people say things like that, you know, and the reason is, is because it's, it's often a, a massive process making something like this, F filled with stress and worry and anxiety, and then it just makes it all worth it when you do your first cuts and, or whatever, you use the machine for the first time, post knocker or, or sawmill, it makes it all worth it. It's a joyful thing to make something like this and then get to use it. Uh, if you're wondering why I cut all the bits just into slabs, it's because um, you know I don't really know. I'm not very skilled at saw milling because it's the first time doing it. Um, so just cutting off whatever I needed to get this five-inch post for the greenhouse was what I was doing. But I have a plan of using all that slab wood for the workshop roof, so it's not going to go to waste at all. Every single piece of slab wood is going into the workshop roof. Um, so I wasn't putting too much thought into it, just getting it down to this, well, I wanted this five inch post. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And the uh, chickens are going to be well happy with all their bedding. We don't waste anything.